Hey guys, how are you doing today? In today's video, I am going to be doing my Ulta haul as well as a Sephora like VIB Beauty Insider haul. I recently kind of did a lot of shopping because it was my birthday month and I wanted to get some things I've been wanting to try for a while and other things I just bought because I don't really know why. I guess I just wanted to. So I am going to start off with the things I got from Ulta. So the first thing I got from Ulta was just the free birthday gift and it's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Voodoo which is a really pretty purple color. I haven't worn it yet. Um, I guess I'll do a little swatch over here. That's a bad swatch. Okay. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's super pretty and I'm really excited to wear this. The thing that I went to Ulta for, because I did have a 20% off coupon, I d so I decided to pick up the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette because, I don't know, I really wanted this and I have nothing like this, so I just really wanted it. And this is what the palette looks like. I absolutely think that these colors are very wearable and you can, you know, make it really fun and bright or you can make it toned down. So if you would like to see a review or get ready with me or something with me using this palette, just, then just let me know in the comments down below. But I've been obsessed with this palette so I knew I had to get that so that's the first thing I got. Two other things from Ulta. The and they're two Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks because I'm obsessed with these. So the first one I got is in the shade Rapture, which I haven't worn yet. It's kind of similar to the shade Rush, which I have already. And I absolutely love it. So I knew I had to have this, but it's really not a spring color. Although I feel like it's one of those shades that you can probably like wear like, you know, all year long and it'll look fine. So definitely wanted to pick that up. Then this one is more spring-like, I guess, and it's the shade Turn On. It's more of a pink shade, and I absolutely love this. It's very creamy, very buttery, goes on nice and smooth. That's what I love about these. They, you know, don't dry out my lips, and they last for a decent amount of time, so had to pick that up. Then moving on to Sephora, I the first thing I had to do was return a few things, so um, I just got store credit. So I got a couple of brushes. The first one I got, which is so incredibly soft and it's amazing for contour, is the Sephora Pro Contour, and this is the number 79, and it's super nice. I wanted something that was kind of tapered and, you know, uh easy to blend and it's super soft and it just blends like a dream so definitely would recommend this one. And then I accidentally bought the wrong brush. I meant to buy the one for blending but it's okay. I still like this one. It's not that big of a deal. But this is the uh, Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush. I meant to just buy like the crease one. This is the number 19. And this tapered and this is perfect for like your outer V and again it's super soft and as many of you guys know Soap and Glory is leaving Sephora so I had to pick up I actually bought two of these um but I bought these like body butters and it comes with the Righteous Butter, the Sugar Crush which smells amazing. It smells like Sprite or something and it smells really good. And then we have the Butter Yourself one. I don't know. Um, They all smell really good and I thought, you know, I should get them. So that's what I did. And then I got the Soap and Glory Flake Away and this is a like sugar scrub. I was using my Tree Hot one but I ran out so that's why I picked this one up because I wanted to try it. I will say this smells exactly like the Righteous Butter Lotion, but I think I like the Tree Hot one better just because I feel like that one's more, um, more exfoliating where this one doesn't really exfoliate that well, but I love the smell and it does moisturize pretty good, so yeah. The last two things I got from Sephora is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I got the shade Light 1. 
and I was looking for a new concealer because the one that I was using, the Maybelline one, was kind of leaving, it was too yellow for my skin tone, where this one is perfect and it's brightening and it's everything I wanted in a concealer and I'm so happy that I got it. It is pricey, but again, I had the whole coupon shenanigan, so I just went for it. And then this, I got a couple samples of and I absolutely loved it. It didn't break my skin out and it's... I've been recently getting into like skincare and this is the Ula Hendrickson or Ole Hendrickson Ultimate Lip Firming Serum and it's supposed to kind of, you know, smooth out your like fine lines, smooth out your skin. Um, and I don't really have like wrinkles to worry about yet, but I kind of want to prevent them in my skin. I just kind of wanted to smooth it out a little bit and I love this. It is very pricey, but I would recommend it and, um, you know, definitely if you have, um, you know, if you see this in your Sephora, definitely get a sample of it and yeah, I definitely would check it out if I were you. Okay, so the last two things, I just bought these randomly when I was at my grocery store because, hey, I wanted some new lip products, I guess. I don't know. So the first one I got is the Maybelline, or the, the Maybelline Lipstick and Coral Burst. And it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it's super pretty, and I really didn't have anything like it. And I thought, you know, whatever, I'll just get it, you know. But I absolutely love it and it's super creamy. The next one I got is the NYX uh, lip, Buttery Lipstick in the shade Little Susie. And it's kind of like that same shade but this one's a little bit different so I justified it. But they're both super pretty and I love them so much. So yeah, that's everything I got from the Ulta Sephora VIB sale and just my local grocery store. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching and I want to know if you guys got anything from the Sephora VIB sale or just in general any new beauty products you got or what you've been eyeing. Leave me a comment down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Um, right here in my uh, outer V.